Yo, man. This is horrible, bro. The Ron Garcia versus Devin Haney fight is horrible. And I blame Devin Haney. Now, I usually stick up for Devin Haney and his team, but I got to go in on Devin Haney for persistently pursuing this fight. Yes. Why, Devin Haney? Why did you thirst? See, this is this is a a lesson, a lesson for all y'all never to be thirsty. Stop being thirsty, cause Ryan Garcia set a thirst trap for Devin Haney. That's why Ryan Garcia is showing his ad. You know what I'm saying? That's why Ryan Garcia ruined the fight. Had people concerned that he was even that he was gonna show up. Had people concerned he may not even make it to the fight. Had people concerned he might drop out the fight because Devin Haney's thirst. Devin Haney, you effed up on this one, bro. You thirsty? You said a thir uh, you, you was you was a, you a victim of a thirst trap. Ron Garcia showed his ass. Showed his ass. The whole, these whole couple of months, Ron Garcia have showed his ass because Ron Garcia knew he wasn't ready for this fight. Devin Haney, you should know better. You should have known better than to pick Ron Garcia for this fight, bro. But this is what thirsty get you. See? This is what being thirsty gets you. It gets you in the midst of a bunch of lame shit. It gets you in the midst of a bunch of clown circus shit. But it's your fault. Don't blame the clown. Blame the promoter for booking the clown. The clown gonna be a clown. I can't blame the clown for being a clown. That's what a clown does. He be, be he acts like a clown. You knew Ryan Garcia wasn't ready for this fight. He just lost a tank. Ryan Garcia even admitted he wasn't ready. Then he ghosted you. Then he he finessed you. He dropped you because Floyd him and Floyd had a run, and he dropped you for Roly. You should have knew right there. Don't give him another chance. When he dropped you, you should you should have left. You should have not gave him a second chance after that. But you came back because you thirsty, bro. You gave this man another chance. The disgust of your thirst, Devin Haney. The disgust of your thirst. And you think this finna do a, a million pay? Are you stupid, bro? You Are you stupid? Everybody know you gonna win this fight. Everybody know Ryan Garcia a clown. Everybody know Ryan Garcia doing all this because he know deep down he ain't ready for this fight. Don't nobody take Ryan Garcia seriously. Don't nobody think Ryan Garcia has a chance unless you just an idiot. The man may even get knocked out in the first round. First or second round. That you think Ron Garcia took training seriously. That was the Coke keeping him up training, bro. Now I'm just joking on that, but that was the clownery keeping Ryan Garcia. Ryan didn't take training seri seriously. Look at him. 
The man been a mental case ever since he announced. Ever since the fight was back on, Ryan's been a mental case. You think Ryan would have acted like this towards Rolly Romero? If Ryan would have had to fight Rolly Romero, you think he would have acted like this? No, you would have saw some serious bite down training from Ryan if he had was in scheduled to fight Rolly Romero. You wouldn't have seen this clownery. Everybody knows it, bro. Everybody knows Ryan don't have a chance. How is this going to do well in a pay-per-view? I'm trying to figure that out. And then Devin Haney. You not helping yourselves by saying he's a C-plus fighter, bro. It's just stupid. If he a C-plus fighter, why would anybody want to buy this shit? If he a C plus, if he a C fighter, I don't know if you said C plus or C. You said C fighter. If he a C fighter, why the fuck you even f- wasting your time fighting him? You ain't gonna get no credit for beating Ryan Garcia. What the fuck you fighting him for? Just stupid. Just plain stupid. And you can, so you can't get mad when the pay per view sales are low. You can't get mad when Tank and them laughing at you. Because they some busters over there. So, yeah, they going to lag. They busters. But you can't get upset if they laugh at you. First of all, Ron Garcia value plummeted when he got beat by Tank. And the way he got beat by Tank, his stock plummeted, bro. And now you want to buy a plummeted stock? It ain't even rose back up yet. You want to buy a plummeted stock? Well, that's a bad analogy. Not stock, because stock has a chance to, to rise back up. But you want to buy... Something that has no value whatsoever. You want to spend ten million on something that has no value? You want to spend ten million on a on a, on, 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 on some Lay's potato chips, bro? That's what you want to spend ten million on a bag, on a twenty-five cent bag of Lay's potato chips. It was a dime marine when Tank was fighting him. He was a dime marine when Tank was fighting him because he was he was undefeated. People thought he had a chance. But then that Don Marine got exposed, and now the value now he's a, he's the same value as a as a bag of twenty five cent bag of Lay's potato chips. And now you think he's still that Don Marine goofy? Only you think that, Devin Haney. Only you the dummy to think he's still a Don Marine. Only you the dummy to think oh he still can sell. Who gonna buy? Who, who's backing Ron Garcia, bro? Not the Mexican fans. Ron Garcia don't even don't, ain't even a real Mexican. Don't even claim to be a real Mexican. Where is fan base? Who is fan base that gonna buy these tickets? That's gonna pump y'all up to a million dollars. You know, a million pay per views. Now, yeah, when he was fighting Tank, maybe the Mexican fans rallied behind him. You know, a little bit. Because of Oscar and everything like that. But uh, since that bad vibe he done had with Oscar, you know, and all that, Then how he's just falling apart. Ain't no Mexicans ain't standing by that. 
And the casual fans ain't finna buy this shit. Come on, bro. If we gonna buy a fight, if the casuals gonna buy a fight, they gonna buy something where two fighters are both are, are both A plus fighters. Or two fighters um have an equal chance of beating each other. I, I think Adrian Broner would have did better. People would probably would have bought Adrian Broner versus uh, Devin Haney more than they would buy Ryan versus Devin. And not because A. Broner is an A-plus fighter. It's because uh, A. Broner is bigger. A. Broner has a better chance. Of beating Haney. Haney. Haney's not all. I mean, he's good, but he ain't no. He ain't no Mayweather. Mayweather was something special. Haney ain't got that movement Mayweather had. You know. Floyd Senior was always talking about. Oh, he just like carbon copy of Floyd. No, the fuck he ain't. No, the fuck he ain't. I don't know what Floyd Senior talking about. He ain't no carbon copy of Floyd. Not at all. Devin Haney is more stiff. He's a stiff fighter. He don't have the footwork Floyd had. Devin Haney is a flat footed fighter. But I I don't mean to but your Devin Haney dropped the ball on this. Laid an egg on this one. Insisting on fighting Ryan Garcia. Then said the man is a C-plus fighter. And think people going to buy this shit. And you think people want to buy this shit, bro. And then, Ryan not, and then Ryan didn't help matters. By his antics throughout the whole uh, last couple months. On IG. Creating doubt in people that he will even show up. A clown show. But I blame Devin Haney and his team for this shit. Thirst trap. That's what they get for being thirsty. I don't know why they thought Ryan Garcia is still a... Uh, Ryan Garcia never proved himself to be a, a pay-per-view star. Never. They betting on that tank fight. Just because they saw the big numbers in the tank fight, they thinking they can do the same. Get the fuck out of here. You're stupid. Stupid. I predict the number's going to be less than 500K. It ain't going to be, it ain't even going to be, you know, it's going to be less than 500. It ain't going to even be 500K. Less than 500k, bro. People can see what it is with Ryan. People know he don't have a chance. People can see through Ryan's antics and know all those antics. Of Ryan. is really Ryan telling y'all he ain't got a chance in hell. He's telling y'all he ain't got a chance by his antics. He's telling y'all he ain't got a chance by the way he's not taking training seriously. Because a big part of the boxing game is the mental game. And Ryan's head is not mentally in the game. His head is all over the place. It's on women. It's on... He claims children... Which I don't believe that. I think he's just deflecting on anything to keep his mind off the fight. C come on, man. He's purposely trying to keep his mind off the fight. So he won't go crazy. Because if he purposely put his mind on the fight, he would doubt himself. 
you will wake up every day depressed. He's too good. I can't beat him. He's too good. I don't know how to beat him. So he got to deflect and talk about everything else. What's going on in the world. And that's how he going to come into the fight with his mind all over the place. And may get knocked out in the first round. But yeah, man, this is Devin Haney and his team's fault. If the fight don't do well, if it does over a million, if it does a million, shit. I would be. If it does over a million, if it does a million, I'd sell my house if I had one. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Oh, yeah, and I've seen that little push. It ain't going to help the fight. It ain't going to sell. It ain't going to help sell the fight, bro. That's what you get for being thirsty, Devin Haney. Peace.